OpenAI announced that ChatGPT will now have plugins. Many consider the launch of ChatGPT to be as revolutionary as the moment when Steve Jobs introduced the iPhone. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. And guess what? Now ChatGPT will have apps just like the App Store. With this plugin, ChatGPT will have access to a range of services and information that you can use to benefit yourself. Some of the available plugins include Expedia, Instacart, Kajak, and Zapier, among others. On the OpenAI page, there are examples of how these plugins work and what can be achieved with them. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to do some simple meal planning. First, let's head to the plugin store. To However, not all of us have access to this plugin. I signed up for the list to be able to use them, but I'm still waiting. In the meantime, I want to share with you how a few weeks ago, I used my programming skills to create my own script that process ChatGPT language and takes actions on Twitter. My solution involves sending a task to ChatGPT. That task is to generate a tweet and then sends the message to Twitter. Although this is not yet possible in the chat, I managed to do it using Node.js, Express, and Python. It all starts when I ask ChatGPT to suggest a function using the list of actions that I am providing to it. We also ask it to generate the necessary tests to complete that action. Upon receiving the response from ChatGPT, I look for a specific action which is suggested by the chat itself. If the action exists, I run a function that creates a Python process. This script opens and controls a browser with the Selenium library. It logs into Twitter, injects the cookies from my past sessions, creates the tweet generated by ChatGPT, and then sends it. This solution allows me to automate tasks that previously required time and manual effort. Imagine having the ability to tell ChatGPT to write and publish an article based on your ideas or to send you a summary of the day's news directly to your email just by asking it to do so. The possibilities are endless. As I gain access to ChatGPT plugins, I will continue to use this type of customized solution. Once I have access to the API, I might migrate my solution to Zapier or even create my own plugins marketplace so that others can benefit from them as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want access to the scripts I created or want a specific tutorial on the code, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. Remember, Jesus Christ loves you and may God bless you. See you in the next time. Bye.